y'all, this is Josh and Katie. Hey. We're the uh, owners of Coletti. And over the last uh, several months, we've had a number of questions from our customers saying, how do you make coffee in a percolator anyway? And so I looked all over YouTube looking for an appropriate video, but uh, came up short. So we're gonna try to, to, to do one ourselves. So this here is the Coletti percolator. And uh, a percolator is a, it's a very ancient artesian way to make coffee. It, it actually works through convection. And so as the water heats, it is somehow forced up through the stem to the top of the brew basket where the grounds will be, and then the water filters down through the grounds back into the pot and then it cycles through. Anything beyond that to me is magic. So uh, I'm gonna leave the science explanation right there. But what I do wanna teach you is how to actually make a pot of coffee. And so first thing you do is take uh, nine cups of water. It's a nine cup percolator and I've already pre-measured it into this pitcher. Of course, the filtered water is always better, but, but we drink it out of the creek if, if we need a coffee. <laughs> so, uh, have your water here. Go ahead and add it, step one, to the pot. And you can see your nine cup line from inside the pot, so. Yeah, it's super helpful. Now, one thing you want to make sure to do is, hopefully we can see this all right, there's, there's a, a series of holes in the spout. Uh, you don't want to go past the holes. The holes also line up with nine cup lines, so it's easy. Uh, if you do, you risk your coffee or your ground sitting uh, in the water as it's, as it's brewing. And what that'll do is it'll just begin to extract the, the coffee and get to the bitterness a little bit early. And so you don't want the grounds or the basket sitting inside the water. And that's why we keep it to the nine cup line or, or just below the, the holes that are, that are there for you. Um, after you've got your, your water in there, you're going to take your, your brew basket and you're going to set it on the percolator stem, just like this. Then you'll take the, the filters that are provided for you in the, in the, in the set, it comes in a package of 40, you'll place that right down into the brew basket. Now the filters are, are optional, they're, they're totally optional, it works fine without the filters. We've included the filters uh, because is sometimes, depending on how you're grinding your coffee, you can get some pretty fine grounds. And those grounds have a tendency to work their way down into the pot. And so another thing it does is if you're worried about cholesterol, uh, the filter will, will filter out the oil in the coffee. And so I think the oil makes it tasty. So imagine having a, a marbly steak. And so that's, that's desirable, it makes, makes the, the meat taste good. Uh, same with coffee but over time we'll add a couple points of cholesterol uh, to you. So know that that's there for your use. I don't personally use it, but, but a lot of people do, and so uh, it's there for you. Uh, once that is in, then it's time to add some, some coffee. That's right, you can use any kind of coffee, um, and you don't have to have um, it ground yourself, but we love to grind, grind it ourselves. This is our Coletti grinder, and um, we like to use a pretty coarse setting so that the grounds um, Stay in the brew basket, and also a finer ground tends to extract bitterness from your coffee too early. So we have ground it with a, a pretty coarse setting, which you can adjust right here. And then we're going to start with a, a ratio of one tablespoon of coffee to one cup of water. So in this case, we do about nine tablespoons of coffee, and you can adjust to taste. Some people only want to use four tablespoons for a whole nine cup percolator, and some will use a lot more. So this is a two tablespoon Coletti measuring spoon, and so I'm going to use about four of these, kind of mound them up a little bit, um, to start with our nine tablespoons. One, two, three, four, eight, four, almost nine. Yeah. All right. Once you've got that done. You're gonna set this on top of your brew basket. Maybe shake it a bit to make sure that it levels out. You see what happened here is she got some of the grounds in the stem and they fell down through here. This is the reason why you don't want to do this process while it's sitting here is so that those aren't in your pot. All right, so we're gonna set that down into the percolator, close the lid and put it on the stove. We're gonna uh, turn our heat to about medium low. This gives optimal extraction for, for the coffee. 
Yeah. So it, it uh, takes a few minutes to bring it to, to, to perking. Uh, and then you're gonna let it perk for seven to 10 minutes after that. We uh, first let the water uh, heat up and then the convection process to begin to happen. Once it does, you see the globe here, you'll see just clear water coming up through the stem and into the globe. Uh, it begins to drain down through the grounds uh, and then back into the pot and the cycle repeats itself. Now that's when you wanna start your, your seven minutes. For, for me, I like the seven minutes, seven to 10. Some people go a little longer, we like it strong. Uh, anyway, that time has transpired, and so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. You're going to want to let it cool down for, for a minute or two for two reasons. One is it lets the water that's currently in the grounds drain down and back into the pot. And second, it just allows the pot to cool off. And so uh, the metal can be pretty hot. We do have a wooden handle uh, to prevent you from burning, but it's metal and metal gets hot. If you want to drink it immediately, just grab a hot pad, put it right here. Really the hot pad is for one reason, is because you wanna take your thumb and press up on this little hinge flap, and that's gonna make sure that the top doesn't come open as you're pouring. So place a little bit of upper, upward pressure there, pour yourself some coffee. This must be. All right, and uh, drink immediately if you can. That's good. All right, well, Okay, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this content and would like some of our additional content, uh, please make your way over to our website. It should be right up here somewhere. Sign up for our newsletter. Uh, we'd love to get out information as it comes, and then that's where we begin to publish discounts and whatnot. That's about it. Thank you. All right, hey, thanks for listening. God bless.